Hello and welcome, my name is Natasha and I am here to share a fun practice that parents or caregivers can do with their children for better well-being. So before I share what this is, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more family yoga and fun. Okay, so this technique is called the steamroller. And we did this one the other day when we were practicing some car themed yoga. I have written a blog about that and I will share that in the caption for some fun ways to include toy cars in your yoga practice together. This is also a practice that we do before bed because it's just a really nice way to settle children down at the end of a long day. And my five-year-old loves this one right now, so we have to do it every single night. And what you will need is either a cushion or a bolster. Okay, so if you're using the bolster, you can kind of roll this, right? So this is a long cushion and you're gonna roll it up and down their body. So before we get that, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Your child is gonna lay on their belly so they can rest their head down on their hands. And then you're rolling that up and down their body, avoiding the head and the feet, adding that gentle but firm pressure on them and communication is so important here so you want to be checking in with how that feels do they want more do they want less they should feel empowered in this okay it's their choice because it's their body and we want them to feel comfortable here right um if they don't want to do it we don't do it <laughs> and you can swap around as well so they can do it to you this is a good way so they can see what it's like from that end and then swap. So if you haven't got the bolster and you've got a cushion, same thing applies, but instead of rolling it, we're just pressing down. So just adding that gentle pressure and usually we get a bit silly with this and we go squish, squish, squish. Um, and yeah, he just loves that. It's that playfulness before bedtime. And some people think that adding some playfulness at bedtime is actually making children hyper. Um, but this is really grounding. And even though there can be a lot of giggles and it is playful, it is really, really helpful in helping children to sleep. Uh, I'd love to know how you get on with this. Does it work for you as well as it works for me? Let me know in the comments how it goes. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day.